What's up everyone, back again. We're, we're at my favorite place. My favorite place in the world, down here in the Keys at our house. And we're gonna go see Baby. We got some cool stuff getting ready to go down uh, on the vice versa, an install that I think was very interesting. And I think you guys will be interested to see what we're gonna do. So that's pretty cool. But also check out McCoy's new ride, black blacked out truck. Yes, that thing is looking sweet, dude. But here's what's kind of crazy. So I just pulled in and we've got one black GMC there. We not only have two black GMCs here, this one's pretty sweet. The guys got it all, got it all tricked out. We got three GMCs, black Denali, and we got we got the new truck car battle wagon, which is about to go to uh, DV8 Motorsports in Palm Beach for a little for a little tweak, right? A little tweak. That's what it's going to be. So we're going to be doing bigger wheels, of course, a whole graphics package. Uh, I think. I think we're gonna do the electronic running boards. Let me know what you think, guys. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think I should do for running boards. Should I do like the regular pipe, you know, the metal ones, or should I do like the amp running boards? Oh, I'll tell you another thing that we're gonna do on this truck, which is really cool. We're taking this bumper off. We're gonna do iron cross. Iron cross front bumper and rear bumper. So look at baby, look at baby. Baby looking nice. Look at these guys over here. All right, what's going on, fellas? So guys, I'm sure y'all have seen the boat, but this is uh, this is the 42 Freeman that we have. We call her vice versa, so pretty cool deal. This is Ben. Ben is with Siren Marine. What's up, dude? Hey, Good to see Scott. you. So yes, we're, we've got uh, we've got a really cool install. The other thing that we've got going on, we have Alan and the guys from Center Consoles Only over here, kind of chilling, hanging out. And they're gonna be doing a little piece today uh, for their social media stuff on the install. And then we've got, is it, what's the name of it? Mark? Chris and Michael. Marquee Marine. Marquee Marine. North Palm. Yeah, North Palm. So Marquee Marine, they're gonna dive into this thing. So here's what we're doing. We're putting in a Siren Marine. This is a global positioning security system. It keeps track of all your instruments. It keeps track of so many different things. And so it gives you kind of a peace of mind of what your boat's doing at all times. Somebody comes and takes the boat, we know it's moving, right? So what are, what are we gonna do? So Scott, we're got, we have a Siren 3 Pro we just released in November. Yep. You had some on some other boat. We're going to put that in the boat here. So what we'll be able to do is monitor all kinds of stuff with that. If the boat's taking on any water, you're going to know. If your yep. bilge pump's cutting on, you're going to know. Yep. You'll be able to check your fuel tank status all when you're up at your other house. Really? Or if you're out in Missouri fishing. Yeah, yeah, right. Are. So there's so much more you can do. If it gets taken, we're also going to do a satellite antenna. So if that boat ends up in the Bahamas, when it loses cell service, you're going to know when that happens too. Really? So if baby shows up in the Bahamas, my phone's going to get, I'm going to get like a notification and I'm fishing in like, you know, Lake Fork and all of a sudden, boom, like baby shouldn't be in the Bahamas. Yeah, you need to get on a plane to the Bahamas. We gotta figure that out. So that that's actually really cool. And I tell you, the ability to have this boat connected to your phone, right? And that's what Siren's known for, is the seamless applications that they have. So I'm super excited about that because again, being able, like he said, to be able to check not only where the boat is, but also battery power, checking if the bilge pumps go off or go on. I can kind of tell how much fuel's on the boat. That's a very good thing to know if I need to, you know, like right now, I haven't been on the boat in a while. I don't know where we're at on fuel. Absolutely. But if I had the app and everything working right now and this all installed, I could tell you that we need fuel. Because we're going fishing tomorrow. And that's going to be a whole other video. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to get busy. We're just going to kind of walk you through this little install Siren Marine 3. And we're going to also drop some links in the description down below. So you guys have to check this stuff out. And look, we're putting it on the big boat but we have this on the new Skeeter, okay? We're gonna have it on the bay boats. We're putting it on everything, okay? So that's a big deal, uh, peace of mind. And also, for you guys that have insurance, this will save you some money on insurance. So I'm able to save money on my insurance. So what does that mean? That means that this system virtually pays for itself, okay? Because what I'm saving in my insurance, that's a good deal. So check out the links and let's get this thing started. All right, let's let the fun begin. That's all, that's all, that, that's it, huh? That's the it. whole box, that's it. right there, that's done. It, yep. And that is the Siren Pro 3. Uh, we put the Siren 2 on my bass boats and uh, it worked great, it keeps track of everything. So when I'm, again, when I'm on the road, yep. we had all the compartment sensors. So if yep. anybody opens up a compartment, you know. it would send a trip, yep. a little sensor to my phone. And so that's good. So we're gonna install that. That's the brains, right? That's the brains, yep. Yeah. NEMA cord, NEMA connectors, little butt connectors. And then here's all the sensors, right? So what yep. are all these? We have bilge pump sensor for mm -hmm. your bilge pump activity, high water, which tracks if you have water in the bilge. It's kind of a redundant system, but it's good to have for yeah. redundancy when you're not here near the boat. We have a motion sensor. We're gonna put it under the console, so if somebody gets on the boat, it's gonna trip that, you're gonna know. Really? So yeah, they'll show their feet. Exactly. Go across. Well, it's not, it, it'll, it'll alert you, and then we right. can tie that into other stuff down right. the road too. And then as I spoke, the 
siren sat offshore antenna. So when you leave cell cut coverage, that's how we're cell based, it'll pick up and track the boat. When you get to the Bahamas, you'll pick up and get all the coverage again with the cell, the cell system there. That's very cool. That's it. That's it. Yep. Now that's, uh, that seems very simple. Seems simple. It's super simple. These yeah. uh, The wireless sensors are one thing I love. You scan those with the app with the QR code on the back Done of the deal. sensor. It's done. You mount it. It's a 10 to 15 minute thing. That wow. Teach. So you yeah. can basically do this yourself. Yeah, exactly. exactly. If you have some kind of concept of positive and negative, you're, you can pretty much hook it up. Exactly. Exactly. So and the other cool. bonus I forgot to mention is this NEMA cord. So I mean, mm -hmm. most boats have a NEMA network on there now, so you can see all that information with the right. fuel, yep. burn, you know, fuel tank level and so forth that you might be looking for when you're not here. Okay. And All you right. can see if the guy running your boat is running full throttle everywhere, and then you'll know. Oh, I can I can call Sam and say, dude, you're running it a little too you'll hard. See that thing Sam, slow that thing down. You'll see it burning. Sam, Sam, you're going you're going 70, <laughs> Sam. You do not need to go 70 just for to catch sailfish, dude. Slow it down. Slow it down, Sam. So it looks like uh, looks like we're done, huh? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're all done. That wasn't bad. I mean, maybe two hours on yeah. the boat. Not bad at all. We actually traveled down here from Palm Beach today. Got it done here for Island Marauder Sunset, and uh, everything seems to be installed and working properly. We got the main box in. We've got the bilge high water sensors, the bilge pump sensors, the uh, we have a motion sensor. Uh, we have a siren satellite offshore sensor, and um, so I can keep track of baby. Yes, baby leads the dog. I know it. Yep. And if baby's taking on water, I know it. Yep. And I can always, you know, like. Yeah. We can check oil, like we can check fuel and all that. You're going to show, you're going to walk yep. through the app. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what's really cool. So so here's what I love about this thing so far, mm -hmm. right? You take a boat like this, it's big. You think to yourself, man, I, I don't want to go through the hassle of installing something on a big boat like this. It's probably going to be lots of wires run, drilling holes everywhere. And it wasn't that at all. Like this stuff right here, two hours, they were done. They installed the mother box in there. I don't know what you call it, the main board. Siren 3. Yeah, yep. Siren 3 box. Yep. And then all the components hook up to that wirelessly. So they installed all the sensors and different things. So it was really a seamless install. Yeah. And and that is the beauty of Siren Rain. And, and you know, it's awesome. You can install more in the future. Right. If you want to add more, there's there's a bunch more you can add. It's all on the Siren website. Yeah. Uh, there's online catalogs. And yeah. I'm sure that Siren's coming out with lots of cool uh, updated things. I'm sure the sky's the limit on what they're going to be coming out with product wise. So like you said, at any moment, when they come out with a new device or a new little feature, just add it right to the system. Absolutely. There's so. more stuff on the horizon with us, and yeah. people will see soon. Yeah. Well, now you've been telling me about the app. Let's check it out. All right. So, obviously, we're sitting here in Isla Mirada looking at the vice versa. We plugged in the NEMA connection, so you're able to see all kinds of engine data. Yeah. Right now, it's showing a warning because the engines aren't running, but we'll be able to see fuel burn, keep track of maintenance, and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. Scott. We are looking at the high water sensors, bilge sensors. Which is okay, so starboard's okay. So you go over there and open that starboard side of the yep. center console, it's gonna alert you and let you know. Yep. You're seeing how much fuel you've got. So when you get down here from up by the mm -hmm. lake, mm -hmm. you're gonna know how much fuel you have before you even jump on the boat and where your oil is. Yes, so oil is at 4% right now. Correct. So that means we need to put oil in it, exactly. obviously. Exactly. So that's good. And total fuel right now is 71%, so we're good for tomorrow. Absolutely. On that, and then this port is okay. This, uh, that's okay as well. High water, two high water mm -hmm. and two uh, bilge activity sensors. Great. And then this map, so so uh, if once this boat leaves, if it does leave, mm -hmm. and let's say that Captain Sam's down here running the boat, I would literally be able to log into my app and see the boat moving. Like see if it was the boat in, moving, and then when it loses sail, it'll pick up with that satellite that right. we were talking about. That is so cool. Absolutely. And again, you can save a lot of money in your insurance. And I know that you've had a lot of customers over the years. We save, and I've saving, I'm saving a lot with mine as yep. well. So. You know, it's it's a no-brainer. It almost pays for itself, to be honest with you. And and the way that the Siren Rain does its billing and, and charges, it's very, very reasonable, especially compared to some of the competition out there. Right. And I've heard horror stories. I literally have heard horror stories from other guys that have had some other systems on boats that do somewhat the same stuff. Not all of it, because Siren Rain's kind of leading the pack on this, but they've had some horror stories on it. So we have some people coming to us daily from across the country just asking, hey, how can we get involved in something new and what you guys are doing with right. Connected Boat? Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So, guys, I'm super excited about it. Um, we're going to go fishing tomorrow. Hopefully catch a couple of sailfish. The sailfish are up shallow right now, so we're going to go out and do a little little uh, sight fishing for some sails up in like 10, 15 foot of water. Hopefully see some uh, fish biting, you know, some ballyhoo and stuff. It'd be a lot of fun. We're going to shoot another video on that. But a huge shout out to Marquee Marine. The guys did a fantastic job. Uh, you know, super professional install, all the wires are clean, 
they know their stuff. And again, they're out of Palm Beach. So if you're on the east coast of Florida, anywhere from Palm Beach north, probably to Jupiter, down to Miami area, you need your boat cleaned, you need any of that stuff, be sure to give Marquis a call. And of course, guys, check out Siren Marine. Stuff is really awesome. And look, we're on the big boat. This stuff worked great on bass boats. And, uh, and I, I have it on my skeeter. I actually got my brand new skeeter in, so the next install is gonna be the brand new skeeter that just showed up. And we're gonna be putting it on that. And peace of mind at night, like honestly, peace of mind at night where I'm laying in the house, it's asleep on the road, and I know that my sensors are all set, and if anybody messes with the boat, opens a compartment, I get a notification on my phone. You know what's going on. That is peace of mind, that is worth it 100%, so awesome. So guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, huge shout out to CCO. They also did a little behind the scenes on this install, center consoles only. We're gonna drop links down below for everybody. Thanks for hanging out, guys. We will see you. Hey, you know what we gotta do? You know what we gotta do? We gotta tell everybody bye. We gotta tell everybody bye, and you gotta give him a bam. You gotta, he's gotta give him a bam. So that's, <laughs> come on, come on, let's see, let's see how you bam it. Tell everybody bye. Come on, there you go. Bye. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Bam. You, gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta hit it, man. You gotta really hit it, dude. Come on. Come on. Bam. Bam. <laughs> <laughs>